Hey everyone, James Millard here with Olympic Peninsula Skydive Tactics and today we're going to be talking about our new fly kits. We've had these in, in the past but we brought them back for you guys. Um, we've got three different patterns. We've got the, the Umami Shrimp which is a summer steel hand pattern. We've got the Carpet Spider from Dave Pinchkowski which is a more of a winter fly. And then we've got the Woolly Ward from Ed Ward, which is a cool smallmouth slash trout pattern tied on a tube. So um, there's a bunch of different options here, like for the Umami Shrimp Kit, there's red, blue, black, and purple. Um, each kit comes with enough material to tie at least 10 flies. You'll get 10 hooks, um, but uh, you can probably get a few more flies out of there. Um, the cool thing about these kits is you can customize them to fit kind of your tying style. You don't have to follow the instructions, although these do have a QR code on them that will lead you to a video of how to tie them. But you can, you know, the world's your oyster. You can tie these however you'd like to tie them. Um, I'm going to break down the umami sh shrimp and red for you guys and um, catch you soon. Mm, all right, so we've got our OPST shank inside of a Regal shank chuck vise. You can use anything that you have or that is out on the market to hold a shank in there. Um, I like the Regal shank vise myself. So that's what we're using today. I'm going to take the thread, which is eight, <clears throat> 18 knot semper fly nano thread. I love this stuff for putting on trailing hooks because you can really reef down on it. I'm going to run the thread back so where I'm going to tie in the trailing wire which in this case is going to be some fire line in black that comes with the kit um, hook pointed down that's so this fly will ride correct one of the one of the things that will make this fly ride correctly in the water I don't use I don't leave enough for you to change the hook out this is a single hook fly I am going to run the thread back down, tying in the wire or the uh, fire line as I go um, along the top of the shank. And then you'll see, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a return eye on these shanks. So it comes back around. That's where I'm going to stop tying in and fold it over the fire line and then tie it back. So we're getting there. Now I'm at the point where the return eye comes back I take this fire line and bend it backwards capture it and tie it back in tie it down all the way back I trim it before I get to the end that's up to you but we'll go ahead and bring the thread all the way back Now we have a hook that's riding down, tied into the shank. Run our thread back up and we're going to use a little bit of this uh, hollow flat braid that comes with the kit. I've got it all out in a big jumble, but um, it comes in a package. Cut off just enough for this to work. You're just going to be covering the back of the shank with it. Capture it. Run it down. And again, touching wraps aren't necessary here. I don't have my super glue with me, but if I did, I would take a layer of Zappa Gap and put it over here and then wind this on. But we're just going to wind this on right now for demonstrations purposes. I'll fish this fly, but um, it won't be as durable. Oops. Won't be as durable. And what you want to do is cover up that junction where the uh, return eye shank comes with this flat braid. So you can wrap over it without busting your thread. Sometimes those return eyes can be sharp. We'll bring this thread back to where we're going to start. 
So now that we have the back of the body completed, we were, will tie in a pheasant rump tail feather from the top of the rump that you get in the package. Tie it in by the tip with as much of the usable hackle as you can. We're then going to dub some Euro Seal in red. Not a ton. We'll make our dubbing loop real quick. Load this dubbing into the loop. Grab our trusty OPST dubbing spinner and spin it all up. Advance your thread, wind this on. We're going to be creating kind of a dubbing ball with this, which will help with the profile of the fly. Cut away your dubbing loop. Trim the top of those ha of that uh, dubbing ball. Scissor fold your pheasant hackle so that all the barbels are running backwards. This will help with them laying the way you want. And then just kind of wind it forward with some big open wraps. One, two. Catch your thread. Looks a little messy now, that's okay. Get another rump feather and tie in a collar to complete the hackle. I'm going to grab one out of here real quick. Again, we'll be tying this collar in by the tip. And it's just going to solidify that buggy profile that we're looking for here on the Zumami Shrimp. So... Again, tie it in by the tip. Trim the tag. Scissor fold. And just wind it on as a collar. This one's a little unruly, don't worry about that. You can tie these feathers back with the thread like I'm going to do in a minute. So It's 
So now our collar is secure. We've got a nice buggy profile and you know that's honestly a little bit of flash. It's not the worst fly in the world for a summer run fish but we are going to spruce it up even more. From here we're going to take our long pheasant tippets and you just need one. I get it all running together and then I will kind of roll it in my fingers back and forth to kind of get the consistency I want and roll some of those feathers up on top. And then I'm going to tie it to where the very end black tips of this feather are touching the eye of the hook. So I'm going to tie it quite long. Make sure it's where I want it. Trim out my excess. Secure this down. From here, we just have to put a wing on and some flash and we're good to go. So I'm taking the Arctic Fox medallion that I get in the kit, picking a, a suitable amount for the wing. Kind of measure it. I'd like the wing to go just past the bend of the hook, which is what we've achieved here. And that's just why I'm using this thread. I'm I'm applying a tremendous amount of pressure, and then the thread is not breaking, which is great. So. <clears throat> Trim away the excess there. Finish the head. And then we're going to add our flash. If I had my super glue, I would super glue this right now. Right at the head. Just the hold those feathers in place, but um, I'll do that when I'm done. This is our pearl flash. Just need one strand. Okay. This is a bit of a mess, but we're going to soldier forward. We'll just put one strand across this side, tie it down, fold it over, run it back. Trim that flash as long as the wing. And there you have it. That is an umami shrimp. Tied with the kit. Great summer flies. Worked from southern Oregon to Washington and anywhere in between where we've chased summer steelhead. Um, this kit is really cool. It... Uh, you know, I would I would fancy this up with a little bit of Lady Amherst and uh, 
and some uh, jungle cock myself, but you know, that's just up to the tire. You get the kit, you start working with it and decide, you know, do I want my wing this full? I want to pull some more of the under hair out. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the completed umami shrimp in red. Thanks for watching.